So now let's do something different. As you can see here, I just open a Google Chrome window and I am on the paravang.parasoft.com slash paravang slash index.htm. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on register. And now I'm going to the dev tools. So if you remember, we need to go to the top right corner, more tools, developer tools. And here I'm going to click, do a right click on HTML and I'm going to select edit as HTML. And now I'm going to select all this code. So I'm going to use chief and, you know, with my mouse, I'm going to select everything. And now I'm just going to proceed and copy all this code. Now, what are we going to do? The next thing is we're going to open a new tab here and we look for chat GPT. And here, let's open this first one, the open AI one. And let's click on try chat GPT. So here chat GPT will ask you to log in or sign up. I'm going to proceed to login, but you can sign up. I'm going to proceed to login. And now I am inside the chat to talk with, you know, the AI. So what is ChatGPT? Well, ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence that it can be used for a, whatever you want, that it can be used for multiple uses, but we are going to use it today for helping us with the Cypress automation. So what I'm going to write here is create a Cypress test tool um, fail password confirmation uh, on the register using the following code and I'm going to paste the code here so as you can see I just write create a Cypress test to fail password confirmation on the register using the following code and I paste the whole code here and I'm going to send the message and the message. Now, as you can see, this is the whole message that we just sent. We just need to go down and Cypress is now creating the test for us. And it's also checking the error. Now, um, as you remember, we uh, need to, now as you remember, we need to add a form to at the beginning of each of these fields. So let's uh, so let's ask ChatGPT to add form two at the beginning. So please add that form two before each field. So let's see what happens. So here you have it. And now it's clicking and giving us the error. Let's see if um, this works. So now let's copy this and uh, paste it on the visual code. So I'm just going to proceed to copy this. And on visual code, I'm just going to paste it. Okay, so now I have all this code copied here, but, but, um, we are going to make some changes. So this is the one that we created first, and these are the ones that um, ChatGPT is giving to us. So as you remember, I had to ask to ChatGPT to give us the form. And also, as you can see here, is not uh, having the two backslashes. So what I'm trying to say is ChatGPT can help us, but it's not perfect. So it, um, it can help you to solve issues. It can help you to give you examples, to give you some code, but it's still 
you need to, um, in, in this case, for example, uh, add some extra things needed for the code to work. So let's, so let's proceed and add those. So I'm just going to copy this one and I'm going to paste that here before each of the dots. Now, um, before clicking here or using this one uh, for getting the error, um, we are just going to check that all these are getting filled in, uh, in, in, the, in the page when we run the test. So I'm going to uh, comment this so with double slash. So I'm just going to type here slash 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 here. So now those two are commented. And I'm going to delete this one because we already have the one for ChatGPT. So we don't need to repeat two first names. Okay, also we need to add the double uh, backslash here um, before each of these other dots. So backslash, double backslash here. And I don't think that we need any other backslashes. I think that this code now is good. So let's proceed to control S and run the code. So we already run the code, but let's do it again so you can see that it's working. So as you can see, all the fields are getting filled. Okay, now that we saw that that is working, let's proceed to uncomment this one and uncomment this one. Now the error is not do not match. The error is password did not match. So I'm just going to fix that. I'm going to add a dot at the end. So now I'm going to proceed to control S and let's run the test. So as you can see, the uh, test just passed. If I click over here, it's showing us that the as expected assert uh, uh, password did not match. Yeah, it was uh, displayed. So our test is successful.